three o'clock in the morning. This is my normal. <laughs> and in just a little bit, I'm going to be posting the mini uh, canvas challenge. So we're going to be doing this puffin today. And they'll be following this tutorial. Hello, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art, and I help beginner through professional level artists reduce stress while mastering the art of animal art. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to varnish an acrylic painting. All right, guys, let's get started. So I wanted to first show you kind of the differences between a painting that's not been glossed or varnished or anything at all. So these two paintings here, these two puppy paintings have no varnish on them. It's just straight acrylic paint, but it's all finished and dried and ready to be painted. And then here is a gloss. This is kind of how gloss looks on a painting. This is an acrylic painting, very glossy. And then this is satin. So it's still kind of got that gloss look, but it's not as much and uh, as this one. Now I feel like the gloss really brings out the colors. I know it's a little tricky to see in this light, but it does give that light reflection as you can see. And the satin doesn't do as much with the colors. It kind of stays pretty much the same, but again, it doesn't have that huge reflection like this one, this one does. So let's get started by just showing you exactly how to apply them. All right, so the varnish I use, I apply the high gloss Liquitex varnish first. It's actually $17.99 using my 40% off Hobby Lobby coupon. So I got this by itself. And then I go back and I get the satin varnish and it's same brand Liquitex, same price $17.99. Liquitex also has a matte varnish. It all depends on what kind of look you're looking for but it's very simple steps. I start with a cup just with water and then a cup where I pour my high gloss varnish in it. Now you can either use a varnishing brush specific for varnishing or you can use just a brush that you use often to varnish with. It makes the bristles kind of hard. Even if you wash it out, it's still hard to get all that out of the brush. So you just kind of want to keep it just for varnishing. It makes painting kind of tricky. So I like to start with a damp brush, not a sopping wet brush, but just a damp one to help me push that varnish around. Even though it's kind of liquid, it still helps me get that even varnish coat over top. So like I said before, we're starting with our high gloss varnish first. There's also just gloss varnish if you want to start with that. And you just simply apply a coat to the top of the canvas and if you have sides to apply that to your sides. I like to paint the surface first, let that dry, and then paint the sides. Now I recommend at least 48 hours for your varnish to dry before applying the satin over top. And also you want to make sure your acrylic painting is completely dry. So at least 48 hours since you last painted it to make sure that's dry before adding any varnish over top. Now you can see I left some spots that have no varnish on it. So I even recommend waiting for this to dry 48 hours and then applying another coat of gloss if you have the patience to. And especially if you're giving this to someone for a commission, you want to have a full covered varnished acrylic painting and then once that's dried then if you want to go to the satin or the mate varnish you would apply the mate or satin over top. In the past I would primarily just do gloss varnish because of how quick and easy it is you just apply one or two coats of the varnish over top and you let that dry you're done and but now I'm actually taking a little bit more time to apply the satin I kind of like both looks. I like the glossy, but I also like the satin. So it's all personal preference, guys. There's no right or wrong here. Just make sure you follow the correct steps and drying time. That's the main point. Now, the last thing I want to note is you can ruin a painting if you haven't let it dry properly or enough. If it's thick acrylic paint and it's not dry and you apply the varnish, you'll ruin it. So you want to give it a lot of time to dry before varnishing it. Now I've made sure I've listed all the supplies I've gone over down below. 
And if you'd like to paint some of these mini canvas paintings for my online Animal Art Masterclass challenge, which we have every month, all the students in the Maine Coon Tier and Up get a daily email prompt that lasts for one week where they get a tutorial, a list of materials, reference photos, and sometimes a traceable. And one winner is chosen each month to receive art supplies or one month waived membership or art prints and more. If you'd like to check out the other student benefits and all my class tiers, make sure you check out the link down below called Online Animal Art Masterclass. I'll see you next week for a full painting tutorial for stress relief that was chosen on my YouTube community's Facebook group. So make sure you vote on that. I always have a vote once a month. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic Friday. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.